The greatest use of a life is to spend it on something that will outlast it. This life is worth living, we can say, since it is what we make it. The world we see that seems so insane is the result of a belief system that is not working. To perceive the world differently, we must be willing to change our belief system. Let the past slip away, expand our sense of now, and dissolve the fear in our minds. Whatever universe a professor believes in must at any rate be a universe that lends itself to lengthy discourse. A universe definable in two sentences is something for which the professorial intellect has no use, no faith in anything of that cheap kind. If you care enough for a result, you will most certainly attain it. Action may not bring happiness but there is no happiness without action. Our faith is faith in someone else's faith, and in the greatest matters this is most the case. The community stagnates without the impulse of the individual. The impulse dies away without the sympathy of the community. If merely feeling good could decide, drunkenness would be the supremely valid human experience. The greatest discovery of my generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes. Why should we think upon things that are lovely? Because thinking determines life. It is a common habit to blame life upon the environment. Environment modifies life but does not govern life. The soul is stronger than its surroundings. It is only by risking our persons from one hour to another that we live at all and often enough our faith beforehand in an uncertified result is the only thing that makes the result come true. If you want equality, act as if you already had it. The God whom science recognizes must be a God of universal laws exclusively, a God who does a wholesale not a retail business. He cannot accommodate his processes to the convenience of individuals. If you believe that feeling bad or worrying long enough will change a past or future event, then you are residing on another planet with a different reality system. The greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. Knowledge about life is one thing. Effective occupation of a place in life, with its dynamic currents passing through your being, is another. The aim of a college education is to teach you to know a good man when you see one. How to gain, how to keep, how to recover happiness is in fact for most men at all times the secret motive of all they do, and of all they are willing to endure. Most people never run far enough on their first win to find out they've got a second. Whenever you're in conflict with someone, there is one factor that can make the difference between damaging your relationship and deepening it. 
that factors attitude. A great many people think they are thinking when they are merely rearranging their prejudices. The deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. It is our attitude at the beginning of a difficult task which, more than anything else, will affect its successful outcome. If the grace of God miraculously operates, it probably operates through the subliminal door.